Rifting is the process by which the continental lithosphere stretches and breaks. The continental rift is the belt or zone of the continental lithosphere where the rifting is occurring. There are certain geologic features associated with rifting, such as faults, half grabbins, volcanism, and earthquakes. If the rifting is successful, a new ocean basin will form. Rifting is driven by two processes, convection within the mantle and plumes. Rifting can be caused by hot material from the mantle plume reaching the continental plate and causes the overlying lithosphere to heat up. We see this rifting happening today in the East African Rift Valley. This rifting consists of the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden, and the East African Rift Valley, including Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. There are three plates that are rifting from one another. The part where these three plates join is called the Triple Junction, which is located between the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden, and Ethiopia. The reason we decided to create a Rift Valley model was because we found that current models demonstrating rifting were static and did not allow students to see the motion and dynamics of the process. There are models that are in research labs, but they are too expensive to replicate. Most of the current models were made from Play-Doh or boxes and only showed the formation of horse and grabbins. They did not show the extensional nature of plate tectonics. We found these models could lead to a common misconception that the lithosphere does not stretch and simply breaks apart. Another misconception that students have is that the crust and lithosphere are the same. We set out to address these misconceptions with a model that would show the stretching of Earth's crust during the rifting process. To recreate our model, start by building a base by gluing three wood boards together. To hold them in place as they dry, use four wood working clamps. Using the PDF provided in the link below, print out two cross-sectional views of the mantle to glue to the sides of the model. You will then cut out two pieces of plexiglass with the dimensions of the sideboards, which will allow for the use of dry erase markers. Glue these printed pictures to each end of the base and nail the plexiglass down over them. Next, cut a stocking from the top of the leg and remove the foot part off as well. Finally, open the sides of the stocking to make it a flat piece of cloth, which represents the oceanic crust. To prevent the cloth from catching on the wood, we covered the edges with packing tape. Set up the demonstration with the kinetic sand that represents the continental crust, and you're ready to use our Rift Valley model. Our model highlights the fact that the lithosphere is stretching and tearing as it rifts rather than only tearing. It also shows a process as well as a result of the rift, so students are able to understand that it is a dynamic system. Along with that, our model demonstrates the Earth's layers that are involved in this process. These layers are very important to highlight because they are key to understanding why and how rifting occurs. This model also addresses a misconception that the crust and the lithosphere are the same thing. Although our model demonstrates what we were trying to convey, there are limitations to its setup. First, to show the stretching of the sand, we had to place it on the top of the stocking, which represents the oceanic crust. Continental crust simply does not rest on oceanic crust, which is an error that should be addressed when presenting the model to students. Another limitation to the model is that the thickness of the layers of the earth are not to scale. When presenting to students, the thickness of each layer should be addressed so students do not think the crust is thicker than the mantle.